Welcome to this month's Highland Hit. We have two exercises that are going to help you with your elevation and strengthening your body's ability to have that core control for that power during your elevation. One of these exercises is going to be cross training, so it's not going to be turned out. Be supplementary to your regular turnout movements. And then the other one will be totally dance based. So we're going to do four total rounds in your workout of these two exercises. 10 repetitions each. Let's get into it. So our first move, I'm going to show you from the side. We're going to dig into a regular lunge back. We're going to focus on this front leg, lifting through the heel, lowering it back down, and then powering up. That's one. Lower back down into your lunge, lift the front heel, lower back down, power up. Back into your lunge, lift the front heel, lower back down, and power up. You're going to do 10 total repetitions. The hard part about this move is that you have to go from holding that lunge to then powering up out of your own strength in the leg and from your abs, okay? Now the reason why we're doing the lunge with the front leg raise, front heel raise, is that it's gonna tap into the power of your soleus muscles, that lower, deeper calf muscle that often gets ignored behind the upper, more, more prominent gastrocnemius calf muscle. And we want to strengthen that soleus as much as you can because it often gets ignored and doesn't help your gastroc like it really should. So that's why we're strengthening it. Aim for those 10 repetitions on each leg. After that, as soon as you can, move into this next move. We're going to take it into too slow, a simple change, then too quick, and then a leap hold. Too slow, quick, quick, and hold. Too slow. Quick and hold. Okay? Now, this is a great exercise to really focus on bending those knees and keeping the heels up in your assembled change versus someone who has straighter legs but allows the ankles to drop. So, you're developing the control in your quadriceps as well as your glutes for that turnout so you don't have an uneven diamond shape. Right? So, too slow will help you get those assembled changes nice and tight, working on the knee bend. The quick ones will help accelerate that power and then finishing with that leap, you can practice your leap landings. Not only that, you can practice your leap extensions. This does not necessarily have to be an exercise where your leaps need to be big. They can be more pointed and a little bit more controlled and lower. If you're working especially on making sure that they're turned out, both legs even and both legs straight. So if you're a dancer who's already mastered your leaps and you're wanting to work more on power, then you can make those leaps a little bit bigger. But if you're a dancer who struggles with even leaps, or your legs aren't fully turned out or straightened, or your toes are more up, then make this leap smaller, more controlled, and more focused, and really master that leap before you work on a bigger extension. Okay? So with that move, same thing, 10 reps total. So those are the exercises. Try to do each of those, the first one with the lunge, the second one with the leap. Cycle through those four times and you're going to have a great little workout helping you with your power and elevation. Now don't forget to follow me here on YouTube. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can email me at fitforreal at studiofitllc.com. Have a great day.